everyone. Hope you are having a great day as always. In this video, I'm going to be discussing why you should consider eating fruit instead of drinking it, instead of consuming it as a beverage and the benefits of consuming it as a solid as opposed to as a liquid. So stay with me as we get into the benefits of eating fruit. So one thing a lot of people don't consider is the fact that fruit itself consists of loads and loads of sugar. So if you haven't already considered that fact, then you really should because it's probably one of the most sugar dense things you can consume, uh, especially when it comes to consuming it in a juice form. So like fruit juices. Now, why would you consider not having a fruit juice, but you'd probably go and eat a melon or eat an apple or eat an orange or anything like that? Well, it's pretty simple. Those solid foods have fiber and that's why they're solid because the fiber basically contains and holds all of the juices and the nutrients and everything that's contained within that orange, for example. And if you didn't have that fiber, that orange would just be a big balloon, basically not held together by anything. It would just be orange juice held together by, who knows, uh, it'd be a big water balloon of, of juice and sugar. So you should consider eating the whole fruits because it actually has the fiber that when it gets down into your digestive tract and into your digestive system, it actually helps break down that sugar and it sort of acts as a time release effect on that sugar and it spreads it out over time by way of utilizing that fiber to help break down the sugar. And then it, it goes into your uh, body and it has glycogen basically. So the problem when you actually have lots and lots of juice, sugary fruit drinks, is that you're consuming all that sugar without the added fiber to help break it down and help sort of uh, time release it over the next, let's say, few hours. So what you're doing is you're consuming that sugar in a juice form and immediately goes into your body and it's stored as glycogen or it's stored as fat. And especially if you're not doing any sort of exercises, then you're not going to burn that off. Then you're basically just adding and packing on more and more fat to yourself. So if you really do like fruit and you really do like um, just the taste of it, or if you just, you know, if you use it for working out even, i got like a hair in my face here. If you use it for working out even, you might want to consider switching to fruit solids instead of fruit juices, simply for that reason, simply for the fact that you're getting the fiber out of the solid, which helps you break it down and helps you best utilize that energy, which is really what this all comes down to. You're, you're absorbing energy. It helps you best utilize that over time using a time release format, um, which is basically derived from that fiber. So avoid the juices, especially in the mornings. Don't wake up in the mornings and have fruit juice in the morning. That's just, just silly, silly, silly old way of thinking. If you're going to have any sort of fruit in the morning, make sure it's a solid and make sure you're also having um, some fats and proteins with, with that meal as well. So don't just wake up and have fruit and call it a day and say that's good enough get yourself some good nutrients, get yourself some fats, get yourself some protein in there as well. Maybe even like eggs. I love eggs in the morning, so consider that. But that's it. So I want to talk about this video. That's the one tip I want to give you. Have fruit as a solid. Do not have it in juice because you're just going to do so much better for yourself. You're going to get so many more gains. That's it. Thank you for watching. Catch you again next time.